We are a unique, uh, a distinct nation. We have been here since time immemorial. We don't remember how long. We can't pinpoint a date, but this is what we know and where we have been, and this is our land. Spiritually, I believe we still have it. Um, it's very significant uh, to us to keep it and to uh, protect it and uh, all of the resources and especially the water coming from Lake Tahoe. The temperature is increasing, has resulted in much more wildfires, more intense storms, drought conditions that have impacted our traditional foods and plants that are important to our culture and tradition. There used to be cooler climates in our Pinet Hills and even in the valleys. And now we're seeing this rise in temperature where we don't have snow packs anymore. We don't have glaciers. We're not seeing the same precipitation as far as snow. Here in the Sierras, right behind Job's Peak, there's always been a glacier kind of thing full of snow throughout the year. Um, and about four years ago, the glacier completely melted. And so we didn't have a glacier. It was the first time in my lifetime that we didn't have a glacier in the Carson Valley throughout the entire year. But even more so just in generally the way that we're receiving precipitation, um, not having snow, not having cold winters, those things aren't allowing the seasons to go like they used to. And so our rabbit brush doesn't bloom when it's, it should. Our, our willows aren't going to sleep when they should. The seasons are just all kind of funky. And I mean, in that way, we can't go out and depend on what we're seeing visually to, to carry on our traditions. So with all of that in mind, we started developing our risk assessment and, and working with our departments and, and communities and identifying uh, those impacts. And based on those impacts is when we started developing the adaptation plan. When our hearts and our minds, when our prayers are in line, in a good way, you know, it feels like there's only beauty around you. And so our kids see that purpose. They're able to talk about those things in real terms. Um, but, but even more so, they're able to talk about their connection with place and how meaningful it is to bring their families together to go and work together. And there is hope for the future. Create community around a project. Create community around being indigenous people, Washu people and our connection to place. And through that community, we can accomplish anything. Shout! 